I don't believe that men and women are fundamentally interchangeable. Yeah. That's the same reason why I don't believe that men should be able to beat up on women in mixed martial arts competitions or be able to smash world records in powerlifting for the same reason that I don't believe men who are juiced out of their mind should be competing against other guys who decide to play by the rules. Exactly. Go start your own transy organization. No one's persecuting you. We just don't want you beating up women. Why? Namely the c***ing balls. <laughs> Question of the day. <laughs> Genuinely, <laughs> if you were a parent and you saw your daughters uh, having their opportunities taken away, or, or just having the crap beaten out of them, having to compete against trans athletes, yeah. Yeah. how would you react? Really, let's get rid of just the progressive agenda or where you line up politically. How would you react if you were a parent? Sincere answer, I want to hear from you. This is what we call Segway. Vice just did a video on how evil uh, the good. USA Powerlifting Association uh, yeah. <laughs> is because they discriminate against trans lifters. At a powerlifting meet in April, athletes of all shapes and sizes showed up to lift heavy. They were all a relatively congruent shape, lifts. except one. <laughs> the bench press, the squat, one. and the deadlift. Things, it's not you know, 25 pounds, but one powerlifter was forced to sit on the sidelines. What? Her name is JC, and she's trans. Forced JC to has sit competed on the in lines. sports mm. her whole life, <laughs> and at a young age, even had oh. Olympic ambitions in curling. No! Male to female transgender. <laughs> so as a man, <laughs> different as a man, he's ice, an ice baller, and then he's shattering women's strength record. Direct competitive advantage. What was your reaction? Disappointment, and also like not being surprised entirely because of the way that trans women and trans feminine people are treated in, in I, Okay, sports. I don't know. Okay, for, we're going to get some science uh, here, but I don't even know what trans feminine is. I'm pretty sure yeah, if I were to say it, it's yeah, hate speech. That's totally yeah. new. We're Pretty supposed much. to say MTF transgender. Not 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 allowed to compete is what it is. Yeah. They forced yeah. to sit on the sidelines. What, right. what do you mean? This person who was a man not allowed to compete? Well, why wasn't this person allowed to compete? Name of the c***ing balls. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> that tends to do it, right? The idea that the USAP, that they've been banning trans lifters it's, it's not right in the first no, place. A no. couple of reasons. They already discriminate, okay, based on age range, yeah. uh, allowable medications, some aren't approved, and their doping policy, which, yes, includes testosterone. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> you can't take it if you want to compete with this organization. There are tons of other rules, by the way, we need to be clear about, down to what kind of t-shirts or hats you can wear, or whether you can wear a hat at all during competition. That's how sports work. Yeah, the, They the, have rules. Yes, exactly. Their whole point is to ensure a fair competition. They're not looking at somebody who has long hair and looks like a man and says that they're a woman and says, I just don't like that. And even though they're not talking to Vice, there were probably a lot of people who were complaining that it wasn't a fair competition. Well, why is that? Name of the c***ing balls. Next <laughs> clip. Do you think it's fair? for you to compete in the women's category. Absolutely. Why? Why not? <gasps> balls, dick and scrot. <laughs> <laughs> That would be the primary reason. I hope I've crystallized them for you, but it's more so what comes along. Uh, that's awesome. Uh, with the wang and meatballs. That's really what, it, and we'll get to that in a second, why there's a difference and it doesn't change just because you stick a needle with estrogen in your ass once every other, no, no, let's go to the next clip. I'm getting too mad already. Go, 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 go. When trans people meet all the rules, they'll just establish more rules to govern our bodies and like our participation in society and in sport. Yes, they are a governing body. That's what sports organizations, huh. athletic commissions, drug testing agencies <laughs> are. They're just gonna find another way to govern your body. No, they are a governing body. <laughs> what is this, is this your honor? <laughs> gonna judge me now? You're gonna judge me now? Guilty! <laughs> right, you're trying to use yes. that same argument, it's but my thank body. thank you for the ringing endorsement. Next <laughs> clip. Katrina Carcasis is a bioethicist who works on testosterone and sex testing this regulations This is where they make the sports. case now. Do Four trans women have an advantage over uh, cis women in, in sports of strength like powerlifting? People want to make these broad generalizations. Trans women have an advantage, but it's always going to be much more complicated than that. Not really, uh, <laughs> doctor. And by the way, I use that term no. loosely because yeah. this bioethicist, which we're like, well, hold on, what is yeah, that? What is uh, Katrina, what's her name? Katrina, Katrina something. something. I just Carcasis. forgot the name. Cases doesn't have a degree in biology or even an MD, PhD in anthropology. Take a quick glance ah. at this person's Twitter feed. Oh, they so are it's constantly, made up. they're talking, they push in the uh, Kaepernick take a knee. Oh, geez. They, this, okay, they yeah. I'm saying they, this, oh, this doctor is not a transy. No. <laughs> this woman yells at Trump nice. when he comes on the TV. Accuses right. anyone who disputes this idea of transgenders in sports of being a part of the patriarchy. This is someone with a vest interest in a social agenda. By the way, hit the <laughs> notification bell if you're subscribed because it doesn't mean a whole lot. Or just bookmark the page. We have videos every day. Join up at uh, mugclub, letterscarter.com slash mugclub. Of course, subscribe on iTunes. Also, this is important to note, this is not a scientific, and we'll get, get to this in a second, and we can rattle off the science 
within one minute. But if you look at even the uh, International Olympic Committee, I think yeah. it's what the IOC. Yeah. They talked about how their trans policy is based on social political change, not on science. They don't even <laughs> yeah, require exactly. you to go through a sex change operation now to compete wow. in the Olympics. <laughs> oh my gosh. You just have to have been taking female hormones for one year. A think year? Of, yeah, think of how dangerous oh, that is Lord. in Greco-Roman. All right, next clip. Testosterone. Mm -hmm. Does it influence sports performance? It does. So it is related to things like lean oh, body mass. Okay. But <laughs> okay. it's not necessary or sufficient to push an athlete to be at the top level. Really? So you can't assume that the people with the highest levels of oh, testosterone do better. I love how Vice summarizes. What Katrina is saying is that there's no clear link between testosterone and sports performance. What? What the? What? <laughs> she's she's as far left as they come from bioethicists, and she still said there is a clear link, but it just doesn't guarantee, oh. for example, that like weak male fat ice bowlers will be the best female trans lifter in the history of mankind. Like, so but basically, what she's saying though was so like. So what no. you're really saying is there's no clear link. Wow. You know how I know that's untrue? They all. Already drug test for testosterone. <laughs> it's not Whether important. Whether you have the d and balls or not, they're testing you. Yeah. Let's go through some. Just uh, rattle off some of the advantages that come to mind. Uh, height, bone density, fast twitch muscle fibers, and surprisingly, I learned this when uh, doing research for this lung capacity. So let's go oh, through the first one. Yeah, Advantage number one: important. height goes without saying. Men are taller than women. Longer. It doesn't go away when you inject hormones. Height right. is a huge advantage <laughs> yeah, in sports like, like basketball or combat sports. Absolutely. Bone density. Men have greater bone density than women. Uh, obviously, for high-impact sports, it's better for them to have greater bone density. <laughs> hormones yeah. may have some effect, but not really. Of course, fast-twitch muscle right. fibers. Men have more fast-twitch muscle fibers than women. Uh, I think that the advantages here in sports would be self-explanatory. <laughs> No, not at all. And that's why even if you no, look at the no most link. roided out female powerlifters, they still struggle to lift as much as a, a natural male. And lung capacity surprised me. When you, yeah, men that's, actually that's, have greater lung capacity. I didn't know that. I didn't know that either, yeah. but it stands to reason. And before, by the way, you say uh, that this is why we actually need to transition kids at a lower age so they don't have all these benefits. Hold on, hold, hold on. F you for that. That's child abuse. <laughs> yeah. Okay? <laughs> And by the way, <laughs> sorry, you have the beat button today. <laughs> None of these advantages are wiped out by hormone replacement therapy. The right. only one you could argue is bone density, that you'll lose some bone density yeah. uh, if you've been undergoing hormone replacement yeah. therapy for a very long time. But even right. then, for people who are doing high-impact sports and weight resistance training their whole lives, you wouldn't lose that much bone density no. to completely wipe out the advantages. All right, yeah. quick comparison, by the way, how <laughs> might this might apply. Woman squat record, seven, let's run this video. Uh, yeah. 700 pounds, just bring it up there, Garrett. We can bring it up as kind of B-roll. Uh, there, you there you go. That's a women's world record. That's very yeah. impressive, obviously. It's very nice. It's fantastic. And it, then the man's is uh, 1,080. Right. So oh, a okay. right. little but bit, a little bit more of a difference. <laughs> hey, hey, by the way, if you if you remove the drug test <laughs> because the USAPL sport. drug tests, and you go to federations that don't, and they also allow you use the the squat suit and the bench shirt. People who don't follow powerlifting, you can't touch the bar to your chest with a bench shirt unless you have 300 pounds. Like it's that much tension. So like, yeah. okay, give me a forklift. Let's see how much I can bench. <laughs> now, I know the world record bench. Yeah, it's not even going to be close. Side. Yeah, but. It goes to 1,200. Here's a clip so you oh, can wow. do Did he get his depth there? Okay, yeah. Uh, I feel like he's going to have back problems later. <laughs> Blood spurt out of his nose, yeah, yeah right yeah, after oh that. Oh, my goodness. Uh, so I'd say there's a slight correlation between testosterone and strength. <laughs> yeah, it bit. would seem because it's you just, see the men like lift so that much though, more, right? and then you see when the men get on te more testosterone, yeah. they lift that much more. The gap goes 300-something to 500-something pounds. <laughs> Now, here's why. Let's let's kind of look at uh, some of the numbers here, and I'm going to get a little scientific, a little nerdy for you. Uh, the mid-range uh, male testosterone level for 25 to 30 years old is about 670 nanograms per deciliter. Okay, so here's something that's, that's been conducted where men who were on steroids, okay, 600 milligrams of testosterone uh, every week, yeah, resulted in test levels of 2,300. Oh wow! So that's a lot more. Now that being said, yeah. you can have some men who have testosterone levels without steroid, uh, any steroids, of it being about a thousand uh, nanograms per deciliter. Yeah. Okay. That means that a doping male athlete, that guy right there who's setting the world record compared to the other guy who is not on juice, allegedly, right? They, they drug yeah. test. 3.5 times more testosterone. Yeah, which, than by that the way, natural athlete. is enough to have people banned from sports for life, potentially. Right. Certainly kicked yeah. out of competitions and records taken away, right? Three and a half or like times. Like Jose That's Canseco, it. a forehead exactly. that had raised the ceiling. <laughs> Mid range uh, female testosterone levels, I want to make sure I get this right. Yeah, about 42.5 nanograms per deciliter. Right. That so that less. means the average. Male, trans feminine, mm. uh, the average male 
who would, they would say, let's, just, let's not go with the transgender MTF. <laughs> transgender. The average <laughs> male would have roughly seven to 23 times uh -huh. the testosterone of a normal woman. So that wow. guy, wow. if you're gonna get mad at that guy for juicing and setting a world record that we have in a different category right. because they don't drug test. We don't even know yeah. who's on steroids or who's not. We just assume that they are. Right. If you're going to be mad about that guy competing with other men in Olympic uh, weightlifting events or any kind of Olympic event or any kind of athletic yeah. endeavor, don't tell, when it's only a two and a half times, two yeah. and a half multiple yeah. hormonal advantage to another man, don't, don't then, then don't get all high and mighty and tell us that there's no difference when someone yeah. has seven to 23 right. times the hormonal advantage. It's not even close. Next clip, Vice. But what about JC? How good is oh, she? This. We asked her coach. Dan okay, Silver. don't get mad. <laughs> Look at that. She even puts her hand out. <laughs> We're girlfriends. Totally okay. Oops, okay. accidentally touched her dad. So, <laughs> JC is a great athlete, and she's a strong, skilled lifter. In her weight class, she's not yet a standout lifter. <laughs> Maybe because she's a fat, weak man? Is that what you mean? Is that why? <laughs> Notice we don't get any numbers. What's your total there? What's it, Janine? What's her name? I is don't JC? Know. I don't know. J Jump yeah. something. The question is not whether this lifter is particularly mediocre and or unattractive, okay? Mediocre male athletes consistently transition to women and they end up getting first place in competition, even becoming world champions. Yeah. Right here, Rachel yeah. McKinnon, World Cycling Championship. Laurel oh, Hubbard won New Zealand gold medal, national championships. Mary Gregory smashed four powerlifting world records in a day <laughs> in nice. one day nice so just because you are like i not all male athletes not all men with with testosterone they're they're not all going to beat every single woman no. we get it some are fat and weak and we're curlers beforehand that being said <laughs> it doesn't change the Exhibit general a. rule all right another clip here and so what I will be doing is uh, time out my meet by standing there for the for one minute for each of my three attempts. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> this is in solidarity. Maybe in powerlifting, some angry lesbians can take a time out and protest and you think right. it's cute. All right, I understand. <laughs> but this isn't the only sport where this is happening. For example, no. I'm sure that these actual women getting concussed would have loved to have taken a time out. Your intolerance is showing. Oh. That is a brave, strong, beautiful mm. woman mm. causing repeated concussive syndrome to other women. <laughs> <laughs> this is laughable. Is Will Smith gonna line up oh for casting goodness. in that one? All right, let's go to the next clip. We deserve a place in sports too. The bottom line is that even in the fundamental principles of Olympism, they recognize that sport is a human right. Olympism? Do trans people get human rights? And the answer is yes. No. So, <laughs> and I'm not saying that trans people don't get human rights. You know, I support yeah. the First Amendment and Second Amendment. Of course, these yeah. are actual human rights, not the ability to compete in any sport. By the way, when you just, when someone comes out and says, healthcare is a human right, it's like, yeah, but you said transies competing in female powerlifting was a right. <laughs> so I'm not really listening to the whole human no, right yeah, train exactly. anymore. I'm not exactly on it. board. Playing a sport, of course you have the right. Competing in a sport while flagrantly disregarding the established rule set is not a human right. This is the issue at large. Why does this matter? There's a greater issue at play here, okay? Um, they're trying to pass a law making it necessary for all sporting organizations to accept transgender athletes regardless of sex. The bill, uh, the <laughs> Equality Act, it specifically outlines that you are legally liable unless you get on board wholesale with the modern gender theory, which is not based in science, even according wow. to the International Olympic Committee. They said it was based, it was largely Politics. politically motivated. <laughs> yeah. It's all feelings. Remember how they said, give you an example, same-sex marriage wouldn't affect you, wouldn't affect the church. And by the way, this is not. not about your opinion on same-sex marriage, about the ramifications that we've seen since the rulings for churches, pastors, even private businesses who've been targeted and they were told that they wouldn't be targeted before. Yeah. And then afterwards they're being sued and shut down because you've declared something a fundamental human right. So right now, what are we looking at? I don't believe that marriage is a fundamental human right. I don't believe the right. government should be recognizing marriage because I believe that it's a privilege, it's a contract two people enter into. And right now when you're talking about sports, unless we get on board with this new policy, which by the way, not only could cause irreparable harm to the fabric of society, uh, obviously very real physical harm to women yes. in the sports. <laughs> this is, this is um, it's, it's really one of those scenarios where 
it shows you how tone deaf Vice is. Yeah. Yeah. That they come yeah. out and go, what they're clearly the saying ratio. is there's no correlation oh between gosh. testosterone and performance. And even the most progressive podcast hosting beta males are going, well, come on. Yeah. Really? You're <laughs> expecting us to get on board with this entirely? This is, a, this is, this is also another example of saying that men and women are fundamentally interchangeable. Listen, right. there's a reason that we have men and women in different sporting divisions. Mm -hmm. For this, this is for the same reason that we recognized a man and a woman as ideal in a marriage. Doesn't matter what your opinion is, but these were fundamentally, uh, they would fundamentally outline roles in society because we believe that a mother and a father were very important to rearing children. When you say that two daddies can do everything that two, uh, a mother and a father can do, you're saying, well, there's really nothing intrinsically valuable right. or yeah. unique to women. The same, I don't believe that. I don't believe that men and women are fundamentally interchangeable. Yeah. That's the same reason why I don't believe that men should be able to beat up on women in mixed martial arts competitions or be able to smash world records in powerlifting for the same same reason that I don't believe men who are juiced out of their mind should be competing against other guys who decide to play by the rules. Exactly. Go start your own transy organization. No one's persecuting you. We just don't want you beating up women. Why? Namely the cockin' balls. Hey there, if you like this video, subscribe to the channel or hit the notification bell. Do it. Oh, wait a second. Do you hear that little ding? It actually didn't make a ding sound. I just did it. It happened while my mouth was doing it and you thought it was coming from your computer. Uh... So that's fun. Also, there's some videos playing in these boxes next to me. Go watch those. You might enjoy them. You might not. I don't care.